Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss rank and column rank. So let's go to our sales table. Now we have the sales table. We are continuing uh, in our series with this table. So in this table let's try to create a rank. Column rank means that's going to be a static rank means it's not going to change. So it's line level rank kind of and we are going to create that on uh, net. So let's go ahead and add new column. In, in this new column, uh, we are going to call it at say overall rank and we will say rank x <coughs> all sales and second thing which we are going to take is a column which is net, third column we are going to leave as is then we will say descending, by default it is descending, if we could have le left at that place it would be descending and then we are going to take dense. So uh, dense means let's say uh, if there is a ranking one and one, so so the next ranking would become three because two rank are already one. So but when we get dense, so there are two rankings which are one and one, then the third ranking is going to come two, not three. Okay, so that's why that we are going to use dense, and so we can uh, sort it ascend, and that should be the biggest item. So here, looking at these numbers, you can see this. Uh, so there's some filter let's clear that filter clear all filters and sort ascending so this is the biggest item okay now let's create one more rank now we want to know uh, inside the customer which is my biggest sale so for let's say I have a customer ID in this table so let's go ahead and look at that this is my customer ID so uh, there are customers where there are more than one order so we will go for such a customer we will try to find out what is uh, the um, maximum amount of net and we want to give that as a rank one. So for that what we need to do is we again going to create a new column and then we will call it let's say customer rank and here we are going to say again rank x filter all sales And now why we are adding filter I'll let you know. Now we are going to create partitioning using earlier. So we will say customer ID. Says customer ID equals to earlier. Customer ID. So now this is customer ID equal to customer ID. That's what where the partitioning is happening now. Now next item is again we are going to take net. Then again next one we are going to leave. Next one we are going to take descending and dance. Now create the rank. So there could be quite a few customer which is only purchasing one so we'll get one 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 but we are going to do is let's find out a customer which is having let's say five rank and let's find out that customer id uh, 300109 is the customer id let's go ahead and filter this 300109 so it will give one answer right now now what we are going to do is we are going to clear filter on this sort we are going to say select all okay and now we can see this is the highest amount and this is given as one rank so inside the customer these many purchases are there each purchases we have ranked so this is how you can create column rank. there's another version which is a major rank which we are going to discuss in some other video uh, thanks for watching this video uh, subscribe to uh, my channel uh, and press the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever I post new videos thanks for watching thank you